Stan Jabalesco here, proprietor and operator of amateur radio station W1GV, Whiskey One Good Vibrations. In my last video, uh, a viewer uh, made a comment. It had to do with the healthcare system in America and what where was the best healthcare system in the world. Uh, and uh, but the comment was largely devoted to questions about random wire antennas. Well, I did not let that video through or that uh, comment through because it was <clears throat> out of context for the subject at hand, not because there was anything wrong uh, with the comment. In fact, that's the purpose of this video, is to attempt to give you my ideas about a random wire antenna, the way I would do it. Now, there were several specific questions, and I don't remember exactly what they were, uh, but here is the basically the way that I would do it with a random wire anten antenna. <clears throat> if I wanted to just string a random wire antenna, say, out, out the window to a tree or something like that. I would use a transmatch, and you don't need a, any special kind of transmatch because uh, it's an unbalanced antenna. But I would use a substantial ground at the transmatch. Uh, and that is, means more than just an electrical outlet. That's not good enough. If you really want to ground uh, your station, uh, where they, especially if it's an N-fed random wire and you have a transmatch to feed it with, you want to ground the transmatch to a substantial ground right at the feed point where it goes out the window. Um, a, just a ground rod is good, but a ground rod with a whole lot of radials and possibly salt in the earth if you don't mind killing your plants around the... Well, I, I don't think I'd do it next to a, a building. I don't think I'd put salt next to the foundation of a building. But a good, solid RF and electrical ground at the transmatch and have the transmatch uh, at the end of the wire go, go right at the window. Uh, don't try to run the wire anywhere inside the house before it goes out. Locate the transmatch in such a place that it can go right out the window uh, to wherever it may decide to go. Then, of course, being a random wire, there's no particular length you need to use, but it should be as high as possible and I would say as long as possible, but not. it, it depends upon the frequency uh, and it depends upon whether you want the antenna to have directional characteristics. And uh, the, this can get quite complicated uh, and I don't think that I have anywhere near enough time. I know I don't have anywhere near enough time to answer such questions in this video. Uh, the basic idea though, involves uh, just get that thing up as high as you can and ground the station, the transmatch end, right at the feed point at the window where the wire goes out. Use as heavy gauge, reasonably heavy gauge wire, and it should be at least a half a wavelength long at the lowest operating frequency that you intend to use. Uh, it doesn't have to be straight. Uh, it's best if it be reasonably straight, but it doesn't have to be. It, just get it up high, ground it well, and when there's a thunderstorm in the area, ground the antenna directly to the substantial ground that you've provided for the transmatch. And better yet, disconnect it from the transmatch and then connected to the substantial ground that you've provided for your station. Don't let lightning in your house 
don't let lightning go anywhere except where it really wants to go, which is to ground. It doesn't want to go through your station and fry your equipment, but it will if you give it a, any chance at all. So don't let that happen. In fact, whenever you're not using the antenna, I would disconnect it from the transmatch and ground it to that substantial ground you've provided. Just don't give lightning any chance to do damage. Of course, if you get a super bolt and it's going to hit your house directly, I mean, if lightning has your number on it, uh, my friend, you are a dead radio ham. <laughs> That's all I can tell you. I haven't died yet, so it has, apparently hasn't had my number on it yet. At least not a Super Bowl. Oh, the woes and the wonders of amateur radio. Stan Gibalisco, W1GV, saying 73. And so long, which, on any antenna, when it's connected or not, no matter what kind of wire you use or metal you use, shall always translate to da-da-da-da-da-da. -da 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 -da.